Hello everyone, are you tired of losing 1v1 fights with your pro friends and opponents? Don't worry your brother got your back like always. In today's video, I will share some useful tips and tricks for TDM, so that you won't lose your TDM challenge. Now let's start from our tip number 1. Do you remember this place in TDM, or places you can imagine like this, where you take fights, imagine there is an enemy here, and I have to take him down, what most of the players do here is like. They push directly like this and die, even this is your right side, even you have good movements and crosshair placement, you're gonna die here most of times if you will push like this. So instead of pushing directly, you can simply do this movement like this here and on places like this, as this is not the too far distance to hip fire, you can easily control your gun here with hip fire, the catch behind this trick is that, when you will go out of cover, in most of the cases enemy comes out as well thinking that you're gonna push, but as you will see he left his cover, you have to trace his head and come back to the cover like this. Don't trust me try yourself, this trick works most of the times and you can win these kind of fights easily with the strategy. Tip number 2. The jumping box. You can do a lot of movements on this box from both sides, but the trick which works most of the times here is like, when you take a fight on this side and you give a little damage to your opponent. And in most of the cases your opponent will stop here on this spot, to surprise attack him you just have to jump like this and shoot like this, because it's least expected way from where your opponent can think. But the catch here is it mostly works on mobile users, rather than iPad users, because they have a better POV and the iPad users can easily see you coming, so make sure you use this one in your next challenge. Here's the proof. Tip number 3, you all know even a little damage is super crucial in TDM matches, while having a fight in center warehouse, most of the times you take cover behind the boxes and in this corner. Make sure you use every percent of your brain, and remember you can damage your opponent from this area, even a 10% damage can give you a upper hand in 1v1 battles, so make sure you use this trick as well. Before moving further, let me clear this. For considering tips and tricks there are hundreds and thousands of tips and tricks which you can see other creators give for gaining views. But remember I'm only giving you the actual combat tips which will help you in actual matches, and during serious and panic situations, I use these tips in my matches as you can see, these are definitely helpful. So like this video right now and subscribe as well, now let's move on to our tip number 4. While taking a fight here, it gives you a lot of disadvantage cause it's your left side right? and your opponent can easily predict you moves here, so instead of going straight out of cover, you can jump onto this box from the back side and surprise attack your enemy. Just simply jump and pull the joystick forward like this, and you will be able to perform this move. Moving to our next point. This is very important that whenever you're about to do a 1v1 with your opponent, make sure you're fully warmed up, especially your left thumb, because your joystick matters the most in 1v1 fights. If you're not able to do fluid movements, how are you expecting you can win, no matter how better your aim is, how better you control recoil, how many tips and tricks you know, if your joystick isn't smoothly working. You're not going to pull it, and you will definitely lose that challenge. So these were some of the TDM improvement guide, if you learned something new make sure you consider subscribing, now enjoy some of my gameplay. I need a weapon! Watch out!